Chris Straub with Straub Technologies, and we're going to go over a little bit of duration on camshaft. So we'll call this camshaft 102. Um, what's my split? A lot of people, you'll see on the internet, they'll talk about duration and, and the split. Do I need a single pattern? Do I need a dual pattern camshaft and stuff? So I'm just going to go over some of the basics that you need to look for, uh, and so you'll know what split you need on a given a engine application and stuff. So the magic number out there is 75%, okay? Now, 75% of what? If the exhaust flows 75% of the intake. So you take your exhaust number at, let's, let's, we'll reference 500 lift. Take the exhaust flow at 500 lift, divide that by the intake flow at 500 lift. And let's see what that number is, okay? So at 75%, your duration numbers at 50 should be the same. Okay, now th there are other factors that will affect this, but if you'll follow this kind of as a basis, you'll get pretty damn close as far as selecting that camshaft out of the catalog. Or hey, you can call Straub Technologies and we'll be sure to get you the right camshaft. So at 75%, we have no split. All right, now if we go up in that 75%, Let's say the uh, percentage is 78%. All right. We're going to go up on the intake. Now you're saying like, what? More duration on the intake side? Well, any of you all out there in the import world, uh, when you look at some of the import cars from Japan and stuff, those engines are regularly 85 to 90%. Well, they've actually, the camshafts in those motors with the dual overhead cams actually have more duration on the intake side than they do the exhaust side because the exhaust is so good on those cars and stuff. So you take that American V8 or something like that and it's got a really high exhaust duration percentage com uh, uh, compared to the intake, then you'll go up on intake. All right. Three percentage over 75, general rule of thumb, I'm going to tell you, increase the duration by about one degree, okay? If you're within a, if you're 78.5%, then go ahead and put four degrees. So four degrees more on intake, all right? Now, if we are less... Let's say we are 70%, okay, compared to 75, that's 5, we're going to go up on the exhaust side, 5 degrees, okay. So when you're looking at cylinder heads, a general rule of thumb on whether you need a single pattern or a split pattern so when you go split pattern is a reverse, and most of the industry will accept a reverse pattern is if you've got more duration on the intake side, or a standard split pattern camshaft, more duration on the exhaust side. It all depends on this magic number in 75%. Now, that's the way I've been taught things over the years. This is the number way I've been taught, and in 30 years, it hasn't let me down. So from Straub Technologies, this is how I select duration, duration split on the camshaft for a given cylinder head combination. 75 is the number. If it's higher than 75, raise your duration on the intake side on the, at 50 numbers. If it's below 75, lower oh, up your numbers on the exhaust side. This is Chris Straub at Straub Technologies. And remember, we don't build engines, we build combinations.